In Sydney, Audrey has come to help out a charity that rescues unwanted kittens and gives them a second chance at life. Hello. Hi, Amy. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. I heard you have some new kittens for me. I have plenty. Okay, I'm come excited. On, Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, it's a baby kitten nursery. Oh, they've been waiting for you. Look how cute they are. Passionate cat lover Amy founded the Kitten Sanctuary with the aim of saving the most vulnerable kittens. Oh, no. oh my gosh. This is my favourite part of visiting you. <laughs> oh my goodness, you cute little thing. Look at those ears. Look at the ears. Oh my gosh, my heart. I miss this. <laughs> That's the cutest part about bottle feeding cats. Yeah, she's ears. got a good appetite. Bottle feeding baby kittens is my most favourite thing to do because their little ears start flapping and it's just the cutest thing. You can hold my hand while you drink. Okay, who's next? You can grab either or. Either but or. a couple bubbles. All right, you're done. Back to bed. We are one of the very few rescues in Australia that do take in kittens this young and hand raise them, specialising in orphan neonatal kittens, which are the highest rate of euthanasia across pounds and shelters in Australia. There we go. Oh, you like your bottle. A good girl. Tell me, Amy, how's it all going here? You look very busy. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been chaotic. Yeah. Like crazy, crazy kitten season. We're seeing more and more orphans coming in off the streets. Yeah. I'm getting like 10 kitten calls a day, and that's like a litter each, or even more. It could be a colony. Yeah. So good that you're taking them in this young, because it's a lot of work, obviously, yeah. for you. But then they get a second chance. Yeah, exactly. That's our goal. Yeah, and they're all getting raised across your foster carers' homes. Yeah, so mainly I'll do the bottle babies. Every feed I'm kind of up for 30 to 40 minutes, whereas oh. Used to be goodness. like, open your eyes 10 minutes and you're done. Yeah, That's no, been a how huge do you help. do it? How yeah. do you keep It's like having 100 newborn babies. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like that, but I think at this point I'm so used to it. Yeah. Like, if I don't have babies, I still wake up. You're the ready night. for babies, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Amy is really one of a kind. Her team of foster carers really go out of their way to look after these kittens. And not just normal kittens, they're neonatal kittens. It's a lot of work every two hours, every three hours feeding. So the amount of work she dedicates to this cause is absolutely amazing. These guys will be weaning hopefully within the next week or so and they should hopefully be fully independent in two to two and a half weeks. Yeah. That's when they can go off to a foster family up until they're ready to a point of adoption 12 weeks on. That's amazing. They're so lucky to have found you, hey? <laughs> She's the first mama, then you go to your <laughs> second mama, hey? Yeah. Well, I'm interested in checking out these bigger ones because they're probably yes. going to be getting their vaccination soon. They're interested in my shoelaces. And they look a bit wormy. Yeah. Possibly have a few fleas, so I'll check yeah. them out. It's quite common to see fleas and tummy worms in stray kittens because often when they're born, they get it from their mum. Fleas are dangerous because in large numbers, they can cause the kittens to become anemic, so they're losing blood. And tummy worms absorb all that nutrition that the kitten needs to grow. So this yes. is Bluey. Oh, hello, Bluey. Yeah. You're cute. Hey? It's beautiful. So they look about 10, 10 and a half weeks. Yeah, right Eating on. and drinking okay? Yeah, they've got quite big appetites, I think. Yeah because they've probably got worms. Yeah, I mean, the belly's quite distended there. You can see it's almost yeah. like a pendulum. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's got a bit of worms. It's quite typical that they come in with a worm infestation, obviously a flea infestation. Yeah. We've got some fleas running around there, haven't we? Lucky you're cute. Yeah, all right, shall we get you started with your flea prevention and worm prevention? Yes. <laughs> so I've got just the thing to help with his fleas and worms. Awesome. I recommend Advocate. It's really great for kittens, and because they're 10 weeks old, it's safe to use. Yep. So you're just gonna pop it on the back of the neck, a liquid, okay. and it's going to get rid of all the fleas and prevent the fleas as well, and also awesome. get rid of worms such as hookworm and roundworm, which is really affecting his nutrition yep. and his ability to gain weight. How yeah. often do we apply this one? Once a month. So okay. we'll get rid of the problem as well as prevent for a whole four weeks. Awesome. Good job, dude. Hey. All done for the month. Dramatic. And next one. Okay, this is little Trixie. Audrey's been amazing to us. She does house calls. She is very experienced. I'm so lucky to have connected with her. So that's all four done for today. Awesome, thank you so much. You're absolutely welcome. So any more kittens, give me a ring. I'm always up for a play. Awesome, so probably tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> all right, Amy. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.